Hello, guys. Uh, how are you all? Uh, I know I was not very really consistent in making the videos, uh, but I promise <laughs> I'll make the videos. And uh, this time, uh, it would be kind of a full length videos. Uh, so that you do not have to go back and forth and you do not have to see uh, in a really fast mode or something like that and i'll just upload it in my youtube channel uh, so that it would be really easy for you all to follow uh, the way uh, i'm painting it and i'll just tell you all what all uh, papers and colors and brushes and everything what all I am using so I'll just think that that would be helpful for all, all of you guys so if you don't understand what you can just comment me in the comment box uh, in my YouTube channel and I will just get uh, right back to you I will definitely reply back on that uh i just hope that it would really help you out uh and we'll just start right away and uh i'll just try to make watercolor for all of you to uh as easy as possible uh, uh I, just uh, uh the language would be just hindi and english uh mixed so that uh it would be understood by most of you guys uh yes so hindi is my mother tongue and uh yeah <laughs> okay so what uh we are going to paint today is uh the uh stones okay so uh uh as uh as a as i'm grown up in my i mean i'm an 80s born kid uh, and uh, grown up in my 90s right so uh india may most of the people have played this game called pithole right so uh where we just uh keep the stack of stones and uh, we just uh, throw the other stone and all those stuff so we i mean so we 80s 90s while like it's they must be having a very fond memories with uh this particular game uh i assume uh, right so uh let's uh dive to the painting itself right and uh, okay so uh now uh let me just introduce to the introduce with you to the colors i'm going to use okay so the first color what i'm going to use here so i'm going to use the different kind of uh uh colors for the stone i'm not going to make a uh, stone uh with one single color so the first color what i'm going to use is um uh, uh gold it is from chanelio the other color what i'm going to use is neutral tint it, it is again from chanelio uh, next color is transparent brown. It is again from Chanelio, right? The paper I'm going to use is uh, arch paper, uh, 300 GSM, uh, cold press paper, right? So let's start painting. Okay, so here what I have done is I have roughly uh, drawn the sketch, uh, right? Uh, I have taped it uh, on my table uh, from masking tape. I have also splattered a uh, masking fluid here and there. Uh, okay, now the masking fluid, what I have uh, used uh, is Winsor & Newton uh, masking fluid, right? And uh, I'm now first uh, going to uh, start with the uh, bottom uh, stone okay so uh, there is uh, like no such rule if you want to start if you are okay with I mean if you are someone uh, who just uh, used to paint like this 
then you may go ahead and start uh, with the top stone. If you are someone who used to paint like this, then uh, you may go ahead and start with uh, any stone, right? So there is no such rule. It totally depends on your comfort, okay? So um, I'm just going to start with this particular uh, stone, uh, the bottom stone, uh, right? Uh, so for that, I'm uh, just going to take uh, first, uh, I'm just first uh, going to pre-wet the paper. I'm going to uh, use wet on wet, uh, wet technique. So I'm first going to use, uh, I'm first going to uh, wet the paper. this part is done right now what i'm going to do is i am taking the neutral tint and just putting it all over right uh at the first go, I really do not uh, want to put the color extremely dark, okay? And since this is a stone, you can uh, totally have a liberty of... Uh, uh, putting or splattering the colors here and there, right? And in wet on uh, wet paper, it is really helpful to do uh, in this manner, right? Okay, I guess this much is fine because we are also going to come back and uh, make the shadows, right? So this is fine. Now I'm going to wash down my brush and I'm going to come to this stone. Now I'm not going to touch to my this stone. Reason being, my this stone is still wet, right? So if I uh, I want to have a light color in this stone and if I'm going to have a wet on wet uh, condition here again, so what will happen is uh, this color will bleed in this color, which I do not want, right? So I'll take this color. Right. Uh, so for this color as well, I will just choose the same. Uh, neutral tint. Right. Now, uh, I will take a little darker color over here. So, which is fine if I just go now and uh, if even if the color blends a little over here, so it is fine with me. Okay. So, again, I'm just using wet on wet technique every time.
so for this i will uh, just use this transparent brown right now this color is not dry completely uh, but still i can just go ahead and uh, do a little uh, lighter color like as i have told i wanted to do a little bit of a cunacotone gold so i can just go ahead and do that okay so i did not with this paper earlier but i did diluted my color so which is fine right so yeah well, just mark a very small small darkish darkish tones over here or you may also take a little darker colors and sometimes some here and there and i'll also uh, show you one technique which is called the a printing technique uh, which looks pretty well here uh, right now comes to the shadow part okay uh, we are going to first make the shadows uh, right so for making the shadow we will have to again so shadows are usually darker to the object darker near the object and then it usually fades around uh, fades right similar thing we are going to do right So now um, this particular portion is also uh, dry, right? So I will also mark the shadow here.
Same goes here. Right. We'll just split the shadow a little so that it just doesn't look like a very obvious curve, right? Okay, now what I'm going to show you is called a printing technique. Okay, so uh, which is a very beautiful technique. Uh, okay, uh, to give the textures, right? So what I'm going to do here is, so this is a cold pressed paper, right? So here, what I'm going to do is I'll take a, a, a transparent brown color and I'm going to just take a much of a transparent brown here. Okay. And then in some of the places, I will just place it like this so that I just get a texture of it. Can you see this? Just getting a pretty nice texture. Right. And now, obviously, this brown color was uh, pretty much prominent in the yellow color. Right. Uh, but for the uh, neutral tint color, you want even a darker color, right? So the same I'm going to do with the neutral tint. I'll, I'm going to take a darker neutral tint. Right.
right so you see a very nice uh, texture we have got right and now to give it even a more textures and all i'm using a brush uh, which do not have a brush although which have a normal uh, just a tip right if you do not have these kind of brush it is okay uh, you may use any credit card scrap uh, scrappers or something like that this this gives a really really beautiful stone texture right do not press it very hard otherwise uh, you may end up damaging your paper now we'll just remove the masking fluid from everywhere now you see that there is this in between this line there is a uh, uh, in between this two there is a masking fluid right so we'll just fix this up so for that i'm just taking a, a miniature brush And then I'm just kind of stippling here and there as well to give even a more depth. Okay, so in the yellow one, I will just stipple with probably the uh, transparent brown color. I don't think that uh, stippling with uh, neutral tint is a nice idea. Okay, so... I'll just stipple with in between. I'll just give a little look up. Let's see here. I'll just again. Yes. Right. Uh, so, uh, I assume how it is looking pretty easy and, uh, you know, it's looking beautiful and nice and, uh, uh, you know, it, uh, just try to paint it out and uh, just let me know uh, how, uh, how you have found it and... Uh, were you able to paint it and uh, how easy it was and uh, what are the difficulties that you face so at the end just let me know how have you found this video uh, was this video helpful 
you or not have you learned something new uh did it find have you found it difficult and also uh in the comment box please uh upload the pictures of what you have painted i would be really happy to see that uh and also let me know uh what else do you want me to make uh in the videos in my upcoming videos uh and if you like it please do subscribe to my channel and hit the uh, like button and give lots and lots of heart emojis uh, so that i know that you like it and even if you do not like it please let me know that what is that that uh, you did not like it so that i can improve on that and uh, uh, may help you serve better right so yes on that note i'll take uh, uh bye bye and uh we'll see you next week or probably i'll just try to make at least two videos in a week so that uh i'll be interacting with you guys on more number of times in a week <laughs> right and yes let's uh, increase our community okay so bye bye